super twisted features was uh, I couldn't get no acting jobs myself. No one would hire me, so I pretty much said, you know, I could do a show where I do characters and you know, work on my craft a little bit. But it kind of came about mostly because I was watching the Tampa Screw Public the Access. I was like, how do these people have their own shows? <laughs> but I could not believe the <laughs> crap that was on the air. Nowadays, there's a, I mean, Tom Green got started doing this and someone caught it and, you know, you never know. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of cable stations out there that, you know, once I knew I was on a waiting list for something, I was like, oh man, I gotta come up with stuff. So then the, the wheels started churning a little bit. And I wanted to do sketch comedy. If it was, uh, if it was supposed to be that way, everything was gonna be scripted. I wanna work more on my craft now and start you know, even if the skits aren't funny, I want them to be look production quality. Because if you're not going to get better at doing something, you might as well not do it at all. So, everyone I have on the show is just people I know, and I say, "Hey, you want to do a skit?" Or, and it's kind of been going that round. And then uh, I got my brother Joe hooked on it, and uh, he took the course. And uh, I figured I needed, uh, you know, definitely someone else that I could rely on to come help me out with the show. And uh, my brother Joe came aboard. Well, I think actually uh, the, f the first uh, titles were going to be, I think it was the, let's see, we had the Dan Show, mm -hmm. uh, The World According to Dan, there was Desperately Seeking Dan, and then it was, I think it was uh, one of the finalist one was like Dan and Super Friends, <laughs> all played by Dan. Hey, that's the only reason why this show was created, just to satisfy my own ego. Yeah, actually, one of my favorite characters is uh, the Kurt Cobain character. I had my hair was actually longer. I kind of grew out a little bit of scruff here, and I actually got a documentary tape about Kurt Cobain, and I watched it, and I was like, what does he look like? What does he wear? And I tried to dress it up. And, and then uh, he was on to one of the first Hollywood Squares he was on. He made it. He was the first character to get killed yeah, in Hollywood Squares. There you go. He's known for that. And then uh, we did a spoof. The whole premise of the, of the skit was, I wanted, and Dan liked this idea, was have Kurt C Cobain was the musical guest for that night. He was booked way back before he did what he did. And then... Uh, the manager was bound and determined to get him on stage. So they said, oh, we're gonna roll him out there, and if he falls out, then you get duct tape and tape him to the chair, and they, you tape his guitar on him. And, uh, go ahead. And, and, well, uh, and then a, a lot of that came from, too, is just, I wanted to do uh, a cheesy, everyone, like when someone's sleeping, when you're a kid, you used to go up to him and go, I like boys, my name's Billy. You know, and it's just kind of like, how can you use that in a skit? Well, the props, I mean, Joe's like been my prop man because I'm kind of like low budget, kind of like pretty ghetto, but Joe really brought a lot of good stuff to the show. I think I own like 100 or 200 bucks. You know, so we're trying to be low budget about it, but, you know, we got our share of props and that definitely help out. I'm actually self appointed uh, casting director. Yeah. Oh, um, well, actually, I've gotten. I've gotten 19 pieces of mail so far, and 17 of them have been good. Um, one was just one guy, it wasn't really a hate mail, I think it was just like he was a, maybe I yelled at that night at work or something, more of a. I think he's a dedicated fan. I think yeah, he really he, he, I'm sure he watches fan. the show. They have gotten to be scripted just to the fact that I don't think I could do it any other way. You definitely need a script, you gotta say this line and I want you to do this, and. It's got to be done like this. Why don't I just do it? Just move. <laughs> well, the Freddy the Frog is, uh, that was my brother Tom's creation. My show airs late at night. Just it all, It's all because uh, of my very first show. So my skits kind of ran a little wild. And then when I turned in my first show, I was told that they were a little too wild. And I was put on at like three o'clock in the morning. And I don't know what really aired on the station no, before my show came along, but well, it could have been uh, one the, the Karaka shit hunter with that, or the, the bums gone wild. The swearing gets a little out of hand sometimes, but that's just because my mom was a sailor. So, and then I was told I couldn't air before midnight, and I figured, I said, well, okay, fine, I'll keep doing what I'm doing, and then. I'll just, I'll be on late, I, I prefer it then. Well, Bums Gone Wild was born, I was doing a, I was doing an independent film uh, called Unearthed in Tampa. Kind of looked around, I was like, well, I could do a Bums Gone Wild, and, and then I just started kind of just brainstorming about, well, what do bums do? Well, they dump in cups and <laughs> sleep all day, and 
that skit was not rehearsed or thought of until the time I turned on the camera. I want to start getting into more of the animation just because you can really kind of run wild then. Um, and I, I, I do it all in Flash. It's pretty easy to create. I just, I want to do, I do want to get better at doing some animation uh, just to kind of get a twisted cartoon on there every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it, it, Darth Maul. It's family. like you have a. Uh, it's like you're Michael Jackson now. You let your kids wear masks. <laughs> That's my child in the Darth Maul mask. Right, come on, you take that. Like no one cut out. They don't need that mask. You're not Darth Maul. I do really bad impressions, but I enjoy doing them. So, uh, all right, uh, Crocodile Hunter. Uh, this is real exciting. I'm on TV right now. And that's all I'm gonna say. And uh, I do uh, a Daryl Strawberry, which is also like my OJ. Hey, children, I'm the Juice, and I'm also Daryl Strawberry, which you're gonna see me in an instructional video. And then I do uh, Cliff, Cliff Cosby. It's Bill Cosby's brother. My name is Cliff Cosby, and I come here because I'm gonna give you some Jello pudding pops, and then we're gonna watch a porno. I like that. No. Gilbert Godfrey. Yes, let me tell you something about Gilbert. He just closes his eyes, and I could also be the dude from Third Guy from the Sun. I think they're one and the same. Yes, both those guys. Davis Bade. But I saw a movie the other day. It's about a big green guy. Kind of like the better one's called Tommy Boy. If you just kind of kick your mouth up like this, and then you go into something else. Uh, I'm going back into Cliff Cosby. Say hello to my little friend. The times of the show are on at, um, we're on at 2.30 on Tuesday night, 2.30 a.m. Tuesday night, 1.30 uh, Friday night, and 12.30 Saturday night. Send us an email at twistedfeatures at yahoo.com just to uh, say hi or... Well, uh, definitely scream at the wall. Thanks for uh, interviewing us and having us on the show. It's, I think we could have like a, a block of shows that really start catching on with people and uh, flatter that people like my show and more so that people, you know, someone wanted to actually interview me. You know, having that creative freedom to do what I want on it, it's kind of fun and maybe hopefully I'll go somewhere. See you in 30. Peace. Woo! Cue the music!